Let's continue with the urinary system and in this video we will be looking at the congenital abnormalities of the bladder and some other aspects of the urinary system. The congenital abnormalities of the bladder include extrophy, diverticula, double bladder, obstructing valves, stricture at the bladder neck. What is extrophy? Extrophy is a rare birth defect in which the bladder develops outside the fetus. The exposed bladder cannot store urine or function normally resulting in urinary leakage. Problems caused by bladder extrophy vary in severity. They can include defects in the bladder, genital and pelvic bones as well as defects in the intestine and reproductive organs. Simple. Extrophy may be spotted on a routine ultrasound during pregnancy. Sometimes the defect isn't visible until the baby is born. Babies born with bladder extrophy will need surgery to correct the defects. Extrophy is a rare but treatable urinary tract malformation in which the front wall of the bladder is absent and you may have a case where even the abdominal wall that has to be there in front might also be absent and I'll show you the picture. So this is the bladder extrophy where you don't see the front wall of the abdominal so what happens is that uh, the bladder opens directly to the exterior of the body. Let's move on to the another disorder. A diverticulum by definition is a pouch or sac of a mucous membrane lined tissue that protrudes outward through the weakened wall of a tubular organ. We reviewed this while uh, having our presentation series on the digestive system. The bladder can also be the site of a diverticula. In addition, the bladder neck can be the location of congenital narrowing or obstruction. Let's take a moment to review the bladder outlet obstruction. What happens in this obstruction? This occurs when there is a blockage at the base or neck of the bladder that reduces or stops the flow of the urine into the urethra. Long term treatment requires surgery. Uh, this obstruction is more common in older men and typically linked to the prostate problems. More men than women will have this obstruction. What can be the cause of this obstruction? What do you think? You know the answer. Bladder stones, enlarged prostate gland, scar tissue in the urethra, tumor that can be in the rectum, uterus or cervix, as well as the prostate cancer. So, what do you feel when you have this obstruction? What are the signs? What are the symptoms? So, you may have a a pain when uh, passing the urine, uh, feel like you have a full bladder but cannot empty completely, uh, trouble urinating, feel like some urine remains even after having voided, uh, have urine flow that starts and stops and you may end up frequently voiding small amount of urine. So you may have abnormal abdominal growth or bladder that is larger than normal and these two are the typically found common conditions that may lead to the obstruction of the bladder or named as bladder outlet obstruction and of course with men the enlarged prostate with women uh, prolapsed bladder can be diagnosed with uh, this obstruction so what doctors do to diagnose the doctors will start with the blood test to check your kidney damage, urine culture to test for the infection and the required imaging test like ultrasound of kidney and bladder to find out 
where the urine blockage is, uh, urine test to find even blood in the urine, x-rays, so on and so forth. What is the course of treatment? It is connected with the cause of the problem. So the cath is inserted in most cases and what happens the cath can relieve the blockage as I sometimes walk and block the view but I like to talk I am having these slides that way you can see uh, what we are talking here. So in some cases what happens a tube is splashed into the bladder through a belly through the belly area and this tube can uh, be a suprapubic cat that can drain the blood to remedy the situation so for the long term care of uh, uh, this obstruction medical treatments for various diseases that is actually causing this obstructions are available in some cases however the long term treatment requires surgery. The key is timely treatment because if not treated in a timely manner it may lead to even the kidney problems. Let's take a moment to review some of the congenital abnormalities of the urethra. So from kidney to ureter, ureter to bladder, bladder to urethra. Urethral abnormalities may include an absent or abnormally closed urethra. Other urethral abnormalities involve abnormally open urethras. So those with, uh, um, these are the gender specifics and I am just narrating a couple of these. So gentlemen may have epispadias, that is a condition where the urethra opens on the upper or dorsal surface of the penis. Or you may have a hypospadias, a condition where the urethra opens on the underneath or ventral surface of the penis okay and generally the treatment is surgery post surgery things resume as normal one unique aspect about the urinary system is renal blood vessels and the most common congenital abnormality of the renal blood vessel is aberrant renal artery that's where it is not located at the normal site that is the definition and because of that obviously what happens it may cross and obstruct the ureter that will give rise to the symptoms and of course surgery will relieve the symptoms and the obstructions so that's all I have on this aspect of the urinary system lack to cover see you soon take care bye bye